how on earth are we favourites for this game? Do these guys not watch football that the athletic? Because I don't think we're favourites. everyone and welcome back to the hexagon challenge here on sean does fm i hope you are doing well today we are back in the champions league manchester united at home we really need to start picking up points albeit a draw here probably not a bad result as you can see the ball were actually very pleased when we drew with these guys at old trafford and hopefully we can get the same if not a better result here if you are looking forward to this game then please do go down below and leave a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel and are enjoying the content and also hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on it is greatly appreciated so in yesterday's episode we took on marseille and league on top of the table clash as you can tell by the table and the top right didn't go to plan we blew a 1-0 lead and went down 2-1 a nine day break off the back of that we played a rotation team in the only game since then and we Picked up a 5-2 win in a very interesting game away at Cayenne. We were utter garbage for 60 minutes in this game, and it was Cayenne who got the opener. It was through Zorko. He was in far too much space there and slid that in the bottom right corner. But then off the bench came Rodrigo Macedo in the second half. We went more direct, told the boys to be more expressive as well. And all of a sudden we were on fire. Dembele seeing him up there for his first goal of the game. Don't worry, it's the Macedo show. There's plenty more to come. Next up, it was only seven minutes later. Puig finds him. The goalkeeper caught out position-wise, and he slots it in for a double to make it 2-1. Then in the 74th minute, Dembele, the ball taken off him. Kamara back to Puig, puts one across, and Marco Stamanek, the surf gets a hand to it, but can't keep it out, and we were 3-1 up. Then we get into the late stages of the game, and Kayen threatened to come back. Nice ball there for Butler again, and he made it 3-2 with four to go, but then Mikado stepped up with a penalty in the 93rd minute. That was for his hat trick. And then, past referee's time, it was another to Mikado to make it four. Lovely flick on there from Dembele. And again, he catches the keeper who sort of came out, ended up in no man's land. And four goals for Mikado off the bench. A heck of a performance. Dembele also getting some minutes off the bench. You can see our front three who started were very poor, and the players that we brought on all doing very well. And we picked up a 5-2 win. You look at our shots, all of them on target, which is actually nice to see. We scored lots of goals, which is nice as well. The two that we can see are a little bit frustrating. But overall, happy with the turnaround there. But I'd rather be winning games a bit more comfortably than that. It was a bit of a mad game to be involved in that one. So hopefully we can win our other games in League R a bit comfortably. In the Champions League, I don't mind that sort of excitement. But in League R against teams who are down near the bottom of the table, hopefully we can... um you know, do a bit better. In terms of league art, still three points behind Marseille, as I'm completely disrespecting Kay in there. They're actually in eighth, so not as bad a result as I thought that, to be fair, especially with a rotation team. But really good for Mikado to come into the team and get some goals. We are still three points behind them, and we've got a two-point gap on Leon, and then another four points back to PSG and the rest of the chasing pack. Really, you'd say are down to Kay in at the moment. That looks to be a decent sort of division in front of the likes of Mets and further down you get towards the relegation teams but today Champions League three draws from our first three games as we'll give you guys a quick look at these other groups PSG top of theirs not by much though they could still get knocked out which would be very interesting considering their league opposition Lazio doing well as we've gone through before maybe we should have gone to that job interview and we make our way steadily down to Group G, where we are still in the hunt, but we really need points against Manchester United, and hopefully we can pick up wins in our remaining two Champions League games. Still feels like that Zenit game a couple of episodes back really might cost us, where they got that 90th minute equaliser with their first real shot on target of the game. After we hit about 30 or 40 shots, it was a ridiculous result, that one. But we need a point here, and as you can tell, in the other game, Atletico Madrid were actually held to a draw by Zenit thanks to results. So that is good to see. If we go back, you'll be able to see that two all in the earlier games. So a draw here, and then we've got a match against Atletico Madrid, which could be incredibly crucial considering 
that they've now played Zenit twice. If we can get ahead of them going into that last match week, or Manchester United, just getting ahead of one of those two teams above us with Zenit left to play on the last match day could put us in a good position. But yeah, we really do need points today. If we don't get points today, look, there's still a chance, but we're making it really tough on ourselves. So yeah, now tactically, I've left things as I did at the end of the previous game. More direct and a bit more expressive. It is against Manchester United, so not sure if it's the right game to be testing this out, but it did work really well, and it has done at times this season when we're struggling, and at the moment we are struggling for the most part to find goals. So we'll leave that on. You can see our first team there. It's pretty much the team we want to be putting out in this situation. We have put Mikado onto the bench as well as Quintero. Quintero, recent form not great, and of course Mikado with four goals a couple of days prior to this we will give a chance to, but we will come back when the match coverage starts and run you guys through Manchester United's team for this fourth Group G Champions League game where we really want some points to help us get out of this group at the start of the week 2 Monaco Man United coming up. So here is our team yet again. Dembele back and Mert Mulder's carrying a little bit of an injury, but we've been told he can get through it. So hopefully no players have to come off. Um, the Manchester United team, look, it's pretty similar to the one they put out a couple of games ago. Bruno Fernandes on the bench, which is interesting, but look, I'm pretty sure it was the same team, black on black. I hate that in football manager. I don't know why they can't get the white names like they do in the comment bar down below or the commentary bar, but either way, Manchester United, obviously in the black, we are at home in our red and white, and we will be kicking off playing left to right in the rain in Monaco, and hopefully we can pick up our first win in the UEFA Champions League in this save as we look to go a bit more direct, hopefully knock balls in behind them and exploit them. The free all draw a couple of episodes ago, they did gift us a few goals, so we can't rely on that. We need to be able to take chances a bit more ourselves. It was a Flavio Enrique hat trick that saved us a point there, even though we did throw the lead away twice. And Manchester United have an early highlight from a throw in Musa down the right-hand side, just keeps the ball in, back to Udegaard. Uh, Agume takes the ball off him there, but kicks it straight to Godfrey. Now Ben Tanku back to Alberto. Hopefully, we do not allow Manchester United to get off to a good start. Interception there from Enrique. Now, Almas could be able to play for Fernandez through. Good early chance, but he puts it into Gasparini. Look, it was a decent save, to be fair. But it's a good start from us. Good counter-attacking chance. Now we have a corner. Nianzu with a header just over the bar. Still nil all, but we're creating chances early doors. Throw into Manchester United yet again, this time in the 10th minute of play. Garcia down that left-hand side to Rashford. Interception from Dembele as he tried to find Ben Tancur, and he makes his way forward. We'll find Fernandes yet again. He's found a bit of space today. His attempt, I think it was a shot, but it's blocked. Gets possession back, though, making his way in towards... Oh, what a strike! Gabriel Fernandes. I thought that was a bit of a speculator. Got a bit of curve on it with that left foot, and he's taken it away from Gasparini in goal. And we have a 1-0 lead in the, after 10 minutes. You see that first attempt was blocked. Just sort of makes his way further towards the infield there. And he just curves it away from the goalkeeper just inside the post. That is a wonderful goal. Wasn't expecting much to come from that highlight after the block shot. But we take a 1-0 lead early on in this game. And we now have a throw in Tessier to Almas. Back to Tessier. If we can make it too early here, that would be fantastic. Almas, the former United man starting today. Tessier, Ampadu in a lot of space. Puts a ball over for Mulder. A lot of space on that left-hand side, it feels like. Finds Enrique. It's in the back of the net, but it looks like this will be offside. The image well, graphics haven't come up for the goal, so we know what that means. And they are, are going to check it. And they do call the goal back. Interesting, interesting to see how far offside he was here because. It didn't look like much at all. Yeah, just one stride. He is definitely offside, though. We're definitely creating chances, though, today. We're looking a bit more up for this. 1-0 after a quarter of an hour. Throw into United yet again, this time in the 26th minute. They have a lot of throw-ins, but haven't kept possession very well from them. And Dembele nearly pinches the ball yet again. This time they keep it, though. And Musa gets his head to it over the bar, though. Still 1-0 after 26 minutes. Another throw into Manchester United here. Common theme with how these highlights are starting. Ben Tanker. Puts a ball and Musa with another header. Goron just gets to that one. They are creating chances now, but it remains 1-0 after half an hour. Okay, thrown to us this time after 32 minutes, and we look to play out from the back. Tessier, long ball. 
trying to find on reek but doesn't get enough on it and now ben tanker on the ball rainer it finds its way up to now lautaro or oh, goron was in a very interesting position there thought that might sneak in at near post but he's made the save in the end and united now have a corner looking to square things up godfrey with his head on it it is cleared right agume i think goron might have got a touch on that but it's still one nil as we get closer towards half time Throw into Manchester United. A lot of throw in highlights coming today, although we are able to pinch that one through Ampadu. And he blasts one for for Flavio Henrique. He's in behind here. Can he slot it? Chips the keeper, you bet he can. And we're 2 0 up against United. It's clicking today, it feels like. Hopefully, I don't jinx it, but we are 2 0 up. Just about to come into half time. Manchester United creating some good chances in the last few highlights that we've seen, but that's a simple long ball, something that that more direct style does seem to help us with. With the pace we've got up front with the likes of Enrique and Dembele, that's a really good chance for Enrique. Chips over Gasparini and we're 2-0, inching towards half time. but it is another throw in for Man United. And they look to get a goal back before the half. Udegaard just wide, good chance, but it's still 2-0. Right before half time, literally seconds left, and it's a throw in for Monaco. Oh, missed header, Enrique, that's a great save from Gasparini. That looked... That looked a certain goal, but Gasparini's pulled out a worldie there, and we go straight to half time without having the corner as well. Great late chance. If it was 3 0, I'd be exceedingly happy. Stat wise, not much difference in this game, and possession wise, it is very even, but our chances a lot better than Manchester United, just to say. A couple of good chances from some throw ins and some balls that tended to find Moose's head, but otherwise, we've looked really good. Everyone playing well today, which is good to see. We do have Nianzu on a yellow card, which we will have to. Keep in mind, maybe we take him off, but at the moment, we're looking good. The one thing about Nianzo is he is very good in the air, so that's, hmm. I'll have a think about this right now. If we do want to take him off, we do have Sevalano on the bench. We might actually swap him and tap sober around, uh, Nianzo and tap sober around, and we will bring Sevalano on just because I don't want someone getting sent off. We're in a really good position here. Otherwise, though, really happy with how the boys are playing. Dembele's on a yellow heart, but we'll leave it for now because he's playing well as well. We'll get to this dressing room talk. We'll tell the boys it's going well, but they're capable of better. Don't want to give them the you've been great quite yet. And we'll get into the second half. Just that one change in defence and Manchester United kicking off, playing left to right. Where they will be looking to claw this back, but we need these points, and I'll be filthy yet again if we drop them from here as Tessier clears that ball, and it is two all early in the second half. Okay, Enrique deep in our was in the box for us there. His attempt was blocked, looked like a cross, is cleared out, but only as far as Ethan Ampadu up to Agume. Almas, the midfielder's well back at the moment, but we now start to go forward. Fernandez to Enrique. Gets past his man, has a shot, but it's wide. Still 2 0 early in the second half. Throw into Monaco. It's in a very good position too. Dembele to Almas. Back to TCA. We do keep possession. Ooh, we just keep it. TCA. Uh, nearly losing it for us there. He finds a Goume. The tackle keeps it away from us, though. That would have been a good volley chance. A pump it long do United, but only to Sevalano, who runs the ball out for some reason. Still 2-0, though, as we get in the last 25 minutes. And quickly after that, we've realized that Dembele is on a yellow, um, a yellow heart, a red heart. So we will make a change. I think what we might do here on recent form, I think we're going to bring Hudson Adoy on. Quintero was pretty poor before we put Mikado on last game, so we'll do that. Otherwise, really happy with how everyone else is playing. We'll just wait to see who the next red hearted player is, I think. Got 24 minutes to hang on to a 2 0 lead. Hopefully, we can do it. 78th minute. Nothing's happened since the last change, and we will make one more. We've got Almas and Fernandez on red hearts. I think Almas is the more important player to take off in this situation, being closer towards our defence, having a two-goal lead. I think we can sit on that if we need to. Ricky Puy will come on, albeit advanced playmaker role, so probably our most attacking midfielder, but still. We'll make that change. Last change, 12 minutes to cling on for our first win. Let's see if we can do it. Free kick to United. Fernandez puts it in. Goron claims it nicely, though. And hopefully we don't do anything dumb here as he's holding on to the ball for a long time, which is good to see. Tried to find Enrique. It goes back to Agume, though, and Fernandez. Enrique's through here. Seal it. Flavio. No, he should have chipped him that time. Went along the ground, and it was a good save from Gasparini. It's still 2-0, but we're now in the last 10 minutes, and we have another goal kick. Playing out from the back, Sevalano up to Hudson-Odoi. Fresh legs. 
tries to play it to Flavio Enrique, but can't get there before Alberto. And it will be United. They find Lautaro Martinez through Bruno Fernandes. Uh, slide tackle from Sevillano. We don't get the ball, though. Back to Bruno. Here's a long shot, but Goron is perfectly positioned for it. And it's still 2-0 as we get into the last 10 minutes. Throw into Monaco. Only four minutes left, but we give the ball straight to Pedrinho. Although they play it forward. Rashford does get on the end of this. Garcia. Pedrinho. Udegaard up to Lautaro. He looked offside. Good save, though, from Goron. And he was offside indeed. Still 2-0. Throw into Monaco. We are in the... Uh, getting up to the 90-minute mark, albeit with four extra about to be added on. Puig on the ball. Finds Enrique up to hudson Adoy has a shot. Great save from Gasparini again. We could be a couple in front of this game, if not for the Manchester United goalkeeper. And we now get into added time. Enrique with a corner. Puts it in. Tries to find... Uh, should have been trying to find taps over. His head it is cleared out, though, so he will have another corner. And a good chance for us to waste a bit more time. Albeit we haven't actually told the boys to do that yet. And Enrique takes it out to Puig. Back to Enrique. Look, he might have been offside there. And indeed he was. Not long left now for United, though. Still 2-0. Free kick to United. We are past referees time. We should be getting our first win in the Champions League. And a very good result as well against Manchester United. And we get the win. We're back on track, it feels like. Only one game, so we won't get too carried away. But maybe just going a bit more direct and telling the boys to have a bit more freedom. Has helped us there. More chances, more on target, slightly higher XG. We had a clear cut chance, which was good in general. Better stats all over the board, position pretty even, but that was a very good performance against the defending Champions League winners. So happy with that. Goron having a good game, 8.0 rating. Also, Gasparini, I would have actually expected Gasparini to have a bit more of a higher rating than Goron. Some of his saves after. We got that 2 0 lead, were wonderful, especially late in the first half for Enrique Chance. But in the end, his defence didn't do a great job to help him out today, did Gasparini and Manchester United. And we get a very important 2 0 win. Unexpected points, but hopefully that makes up for the Zenit result earlier in the group. And we'll tell the boys we're very happy with that. Get the heads up. And I think now we've actually gone top of the group. And indeed we do. Same goal difference as Atletico Madrid, but because of the alphabet, yet again, we are in front of them. And all of a sudden it's Manchester United who are on the outer, which is, as a Liverpool fan, quite nice to see. Zenit now pushing it uphill. Hopefully if we can get a result against Atletico Madrid, we might even secure our place in the next round, but we'll have to wait and see about that. That is a very important game that is going to be coming up very soon in this series. And we get a nice bit of coin for that win too. 4.8 million. Haven't won a game in the Champions League up until then. So that was a nice bonus. As we get through these inbox items, Ethan Ampadu is tired yet again. He's been battling fatigue all the way through the season. We'll tell Gordon he was very good. Keep that head up. And they still want Flavio Enrique to Manchester United. Look, if they don't qualify out of the group, I don't think we have to sell them to him, to be honest. So... That could be nice, but we need to keep the hammer down in the Champions League group because our start wasn't great, but that win has certainly put a rosier outlook on things with two games to go, and especially now that we've taken on the team who you would have thought were going to be the hardest, and we've picked up four points against them, which we take to the bank all day long. So that is it for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, go down below and leave a thumbs up. And if you did enjoy the content here and are new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. Tomorrow, we'll be back for the next Champions League game. That's the focus now until the start of the second half of the season. We'll take on Atletico Madrid. A win there would be so important. But we now do have away games. Only have one of them so far at Old Trafford. So it might get tougher, but hopefully we can pull out some results to secure our place in the knockout stages. But until that Madrid game, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.